You're all guards. Custodians of the law gods help us. What do you think makes a hero? Well, a true hero doesn't know he's a hero, does he? I mean, it's all relative. How do you mean relative? It's like, maybe you ought to get a relative to fight the dragon. Oh, that's clever. I wish I'd thought of that. Ah, you've got to be at least a corporal to have tactical ideas like that. Oh, good grief. Look, all I want to know is... Have you got spare relatives, sir? Well... I have an aunt. There you are then! Case closed! She's nearly 80! Better than wasting a younger person then? Yeah. Cost the dragon will eat anyone. Right! Right. Look, we're getting sidetracked. How can I tell if someone's a proper hero? Well, a hero always knows what to do next. Does she? Who? His aunt. His aunt's gonna fight the dragon? Let's hear it! For a brave old lady. Shut up about my aunt! My aunt's not fighting the dragon! I need a proper hero! You said your aunt was a hero. Didn't he say that? Corporal Nobbs, he said his aunt was a hero. I heard him. Oh, I'd be proud of her if I was him. Look, let's not start that again. How do you actually recognise a hero? They've got a birthmark. Means they're a king or what's name. All heroes do. That's what makes them heroes. Has your aunt got one? Have you ever asked? How often do you write to her these days? What do you brave soldiers... Brave soldiers know about dragon slaying. I mean, what kind of chance would someone like me have against a dragon? Listen, mate. The odds of killing a dragon must be a million to one. You'd have to be a hero. So what are the odds of someone like me finding everything a hero has to have? What? Forget it, mate. The odds of you finding all that stuff would be... A million to one? Yeah, that's it. So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I had a birthmark? And if I recited a magic spell? And if I was wearing a black mask? Well, let me see. I reckon that would be 375,000 to 1. New Jiffy Brill Instant Starch. Stiffens anything. <laughs> you never know when that might come in useful. Oh, cleaning material. I didn't know we had a cleaner. It's very hard to keep staff in this place. Well, hard to keep them human anyway. His hat is bigger than mine, and sharper.
This isn't black paint, it's ash. I wonder where that mason went. of thieves' tools. Alright, what are you selling this time? Weight loss, sir. I beg your pardon. Feeling like a bucket of lard, sir? Like the proverbial ambulatory what's name? Whale? Look, what are you selling this time? Just get it over with. It's the Leecho Suction Weight Loss Program, sir. Guaranteed to turn a hippo into a nymph in just one year or your money back. Let me guess, you're proposing using leeches to suck out someone's fat. Beauty can be yours while you wait, sir. But the leech is a hematoparasite. What, sir? It drinks blood. It doesn't gobble up cellulite. A little leech can't make you lose any weight. Depends how much blood it takes, sir. You'd be surprised. It's all guaranteed. Lose weight in one year or your money back. Here, have a leaflet. It says here that the management reserves the right to define one year according to any local calendar it sees fit. That's right, sir. But the Trumelian calendar year is 311 months long. Really, sir? Well, look, seeing as how you're a friend, I'll do you a discount. I'm cutting my own throat, but... Look, I don't need a weight loss system. Have you thought about the future, sir? I mean, you could remove weight now and store it for use in the future. Could cut down on grocery bills, sir. Now, I don't think that's very practical. Well, our medical practice now offers a variety of other services and cures, sir. I've got wart treatments, rheumatism, here's a potion guaranteed to cure blindness. But I'm not blind! You see, sir, a miracle cure. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Oh, well, sir, perhaps we can do business in the future. Ah! Could you tell me about that leecho suction thing again? Careful one, would you, sir? Cut price, I'm cutting my own throat. OK, then, couldn't do any harm. As if I haven't had enough exercise of late.
Clatchian cactus juice with something wriggling inside. Do you get any heroes in here? Oh, I hate them. Always in here, flexing their muscles, strutting about in their posing pouches. Posing pouches? Yeah. God knows what they keep in them. Barky, a drink. Clatchian cactus juice. Hang on, sir. I'll just have a look. Yes? Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. Hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, all right. Ah. Let's see now. It's... Blah, 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 spoons, blah, 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 swordfish, blah, blah, blah. Right? Right? No. Hey, you didn't say Simon Says. Oh. Simon Says. Okay. Welcome, or oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the sword. Quite a good aroma to this love potion custard tart. Persistent little blighter, isn't he? There you are! <sighs> She's forgotten about me. If only she would come! bag of leeches. That doesn't work. Ah, well, anyway, here's a bag. For who? For your friend here. He said he wanted it for when he went out to dinner with your wife. I never. Don't listen to him. It's a sodden lie. It isn't. He said he wanted it to put over his head so he wouldn't have to see your wife's face. Why, you? It's a lie. A lie. He, he's just trying to cause trouble again. What? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Thanks, pal. You're welcome, mate. After all we've been through together, it's silly how we can still... Yes, I know. Still. Thick and thin together, eh? You and me against the world. Ah, it's what friends are for, mate. What friends are for. So do you want the bag, then? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Are you standing for this new tax? Hey, it does seem a trifle harsh. How can I make progress up the social ladder if I get it in the neck? Yeah, it's hard to get ahead without a head. Are you alright? Yes, thank you, Mother. Pancake thieves, that's who's behind it. You're actual robbers of pan-fried bread goods. I'll just let you get on with it then, shall I? It's crinimal. That's what it is, crinimal. Right, right you are then. I'll just stand over here, don't mind me. Extra frothy. Oh, I see. Sort of a draconic calling card. That doesn't work. You know, it's rather hard to find a decent back scratcher these days. Hey ho. What in Offler's name are you doing here? Slumming. Well, shall I release you? Oh, no. The quota system's gone all to hell, so we're working on something new, pre-serving our prison time. You see, the average thief's prison sentence is about two years, but only one in ten thieves actually gets caught. Therefore, if we all spend 2.4 months in jail, that clears everybody of their social debt. It's all very logical, you see. Patrician's idea. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So, um, how's about this weather then? Yes, I thought it was extraordinary myself. Apparently, a high-low pressure system has been moving left across the river valley, combined with a counterclockwise humidity layer caused by the internal combustion of tree roots. Ah, oh, yeah, exactly. Stealing all the gold in the kingdom, they said. Pardon? All the gold in the kingdom. It was given to me. Likely story. Hello. Are you all right? Here. Just look what they've got pinned onto my lapel. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Ah, yes. Hello. Um, so, uh, you're a torturer then? Please, sir. We professionals within the industry prefer the term information extraction technician. A little nicety, sir, that marks an otherwise very old and dignified profession. Always does well to take pride in one's new line of work, sir. So you're new at the job then? Well, more like a promotion, really. I started off as a tax collector, and it's all the same department. Really? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Hey, don't I know you? No. Oh. You, you're one of them. What? I'm not. I've never even seen you before. Even if they did throw you in the stocks. Ooh, and someone might have been throwing tomatoes at you, but it, it wasn't me. Ah, oh, right, well, good. 
because I'll tell you what, I'd have been ever so cross if you had been. Anyway, can I help you with anything, sir? A bit of torture on account? Something off the ears? Uh, nah, no, no thanks, just, uh, I'm just window shopping. Minimal entertainment facilities down here, apparently. Aha! Now this is interesting. Oh. Um. Sorry about that. <gasps> eh! I'm melting! Woo! I'm melting! And your little dog too! <laughs> ah! A sword that goes ploink! Ah! A sword that goes ploink! That sword's out of tune, that is! You want to take it to a dwarf, mate! They know all about tuning up swords. Funny sort of appointment book. Nice big pages though. Gosh! The only ones they'll ever let me use at the University of the Ends all blunted off. Ah, prime knickknacks, soft toy dinosaurs. 